Hi Virgo, how are you guys doing? I really hope that this video finds you well. Welcome to you. Reading back with me again, Anissa from the Inner Serio. So this is going to be your love general messages. The format is going to be you versus them. I'm going to be pulling cards about who is it that we're going to be talking about today, your challenges, past, present, future, and advice by the end of the session. Keep in mind that this is a general reading, so the rules might get reversed or it may or may not resonate with you at all. And if you want a personal reading with me, there's going to be a link on our description box below. And don't forget to check your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign, all right? So let's do it, Virgo. Who is it that we're going to be talking about today for Virgo? The Devil. The Star. <laughs> then the Ten of Pentacles. Let's see what are your challenges here, Virgo. You have the Nine of Pentacles that is in reverse. Then you have the Four of Swords. Let's see how are they in the past. The Three of Swords in reverse. The Six of Pentacles, how are you in the past? Eight of Swords. The Two of Cups, okay? Their energy is okay. Simply because I feel that this person sees you as the directions in which they want to go to. So every decision that they make in their life, they're considering you. So let's say, for instance, they are being offered a job and that job is could be potentially far away from you and making the ability of you two meeting often less and less, they'd be thinking about it, okay? So you are being put as a consideration to a big decisions that they're making in their life simply because they have this belief or they have this hopes and dreams that your relationships or your connections with them could lead to a happily ever after with the ten of pentacles in there they want it all you know like they want a relationship they want to have a long-term thing they probably also want to have a family with you and all of those stuff but with the devil card here it also indicates to me that because they feel so deeply about these connections, it has a tendency to also trigger their weakness or their shadow side or their fear or their insecurities, whatever that may be. And that could and that could also reflect on how their actions is towards you. But deep down inside, if you were to be asking me that is this person for real and it says this person really wants me, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But again, with a devil with a devil card here, it depends on what type of person you're dealing with, you know. Because sometimes, because this connection is so strong, they feel it strongly, that it triggers some things from them. They almost like they kind of like want to claim you. They want to have you. It's very obsessive type of energy. Your challenges is the nine of pentacles in reverse, and also the four of swords. Keeping your mind to rest, being mindful, or being grounded is very, very difficult for you because it feels to me as if like within this week, your mind is going to take you elsewhere. It could be about your job. It could be about, you know, your relationship with other people. It's just like everybody wants to have a piece of Virgo. So it's going to be very difficult for you to rest your mind and i also need you to be careful with your finances or your spending because i feel that in, during this week there might be a potentials of you spending way more than you've planned or spending way more than you should have okay be careful about that but in regards to disconnections you know it's very very difficult for you to shut your mind mind off and stop overthinking in regards to disconnections because one person in this relationship is being very codependent they are attaching their self-esteem or their sense of self towards the connection so this could be you doing this to them or this could be literally them doing this to you so maybe why they have like a lot of demands towards you is simply because they're attaching their self-esteem with the relationship so in the past from their side three of swords in reverse and also the six of pentacles from your side you have the eight of swords and also the two of cups i just don't feel that this is a new relationship that we're talking about here i think this is like you know a relationship that has been you know either for months or for years like something like that it's not something new because they are the three of swords in reverse and you're the eight of swords so you're dealing with somebody who get over things very quickly I think this energy presents itself right after a fight or right, right after a big argument or right after, you know, one person is hurting the other person, vice versa. 
because they were in a process of healing in the past and they also kind of like want to be given into the relationship whereas you're not fine yet you're still the eight of swords there's still like a lot of doubt within you as i was saying earlier you do feel for this person though i mean you have the, the two of cups in here you do feel an amount an immense amount of love towards this person but you can't shut it off like whatever it is that you're thinking and you're overthinking you can't shut it off you might be dealing with a mutable sign because mutable sign is this notorious for you know moving on quickly to another subject <laughs> So mutable signs, but you're mutable too, la. Yeah, but it's just like this person is able to let it go or just forgive or, you know, deal with heels and you're still there. It's difficult for you to either forgive or forget or to accept. Let's see. How are they the now? The lovers. I told you this person loves you. To the moon and back. Eight of Wands. How about from your side here, Virgo? Yeah, the Six of Swords. The Hierophant. And I feel that you guys have been traumatized. Whatever it is that happened in the past to a point that made you stuck like this, yeah? It traumatizes you to a point where when this person shows up with the lover's card. So it's not happening now, it's probably going to happen like really, really soon. You're going to have someone coming to you, really, really communicating with you that this person loves the hell out of you and they want something serious with you or they want to reconcile, whatever that may be, but you will have a confession of love. It's a sweet message here. They're tr trying to reach to you. How you're responding, you have the Six of Swords. You're traumatized. Something in the past traumatized you. It could be them, literally, or it could be your past person and what this person was doing kind of like triggered that fear whatever that may be you're traumatized here because you just want to move to calmer water you just want to be realistic with the hierophant card here do you want to be in a relationship with them yeah but you don't want to be emotionally vulnerable with this person will you Keep your promises. Let's say, for instance, you made promises in the past to them, or you said something that you're going to be doing. Will you do it? Yeah. But will you open up to them? Will you be vulnerable? Would you accept their love? Would you accept this emotional get-together? You will not, because you're still a Six of Swords. It's very, very hard for you to trust this. It's just very hard for you to open up. So in a 3D level, in a practical level, everything seems all right because you're still doing the right actions. But here, no, you don't want to engage. Let's see in the future. Five of Wands. Ace of Wands. How are you in the future? <clears throat> King of Wands. Not a sword. This person is going to keep on trying and trying and trying and trying. And again, as I was saying earlier, if it hasn't happened already, it's going to happen really, really soon because it's in the present energy. Okay. So in the future, again, it's because it's weird because in reality, in practical matters, you're still doing the actions, but deep down you're checking out, you're detached. You don't want to engage in that. You know what I mean? Like you just, it's like your body and your heart is doing totally two different things. So in the future, I just feel you guys are going to be much more independent 
you guys are going to be more in the mindset of I'm going to be doing things just because I want to do things. I'm not going to be taking into consideration what the relationship is going to be about or how it's going to be impacting this person. I'm just going to be doing me. I just want to be raising my self-esteem, you know, here. And it's going to have like a little bit of a resistance when it comes to this person. Yeah, they're not really going to be liking it. Maybe because they feel that they're losing control over you, or maybe because they're not getting what they want, or maybe because they're seeing the changes in you. But they, you know, these changes in the future that you're going to be doing actually starts now. It's accumulating energy. And they're going to be very surprised by it. Okay? Will they argue? Will they put up a fight? They will. Would they still want to work on this relationship again? They will. With the Ace of Wands. Again, as I was saying earlier, you're dealing with someone who get over things really quickly. Somebody like me. <laughs> kind of Sagittarius, you know what I mean? Like, um, or Geminis are, are, are like that too. Pisces are also like that, you know? Like when they're angry, they can be really, really angry. And then after that, they feel fine afterwards. You're not fine. You're not fine, okay? So right after they're protesting with that five of wands, maybe some hostilities, you know, depending on what type of person you're dealing with. And now too that they also want to, you know, do something new within this connections again. So it's like that. And then you're going to be like the nine of swords. I don't know if I really, really want to be doing it because you're sued up from head to toe. The Nine of Swords in this deck of mine is like a knight who is being sued up from head to toe and is going to that burning building. He's being very, very careful. You just don't trust these connections anymore, Virgo. You don't. Whereas this person trusts very much and this person is left in wondering like, what is wrong with you? Like, why can I not connect with you? Something happened in the past. That's why you're detaching. And whatever it is that you're doing in the future is actually the accumulations of what happened in the past and also what happens in the now. So let's see what your advices are here, Virgo. You have the Six of Wands. You have the Tower card. And you also have the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, I feel that you're replaying an event in your head constantly over and over again to a point where deep down inside, I don't know if you actually realize this, but deep down inside, you're wishing for this thing to be destroyed, to be done and over with. You know, it's, you're wishing bad things upon your relationship. And I don't know if you realize this, but this very subconscious thing, you know, and why is that all happening is because you keep on replaying memories over and over again. And, I, you know, I, will, I I understand you because I'm also the type of person who likes pattern. My Mercury is Capricorn, even though I'm a Sagittarius sun. So I like to, based off what happens in the future, based off the patterns in the past and in the present. I'm not delusional to think that things are going to be changing if the patterns are not changing. All right. So I know where you're coming from with this, but... At the same time, you also have to, at some point, realize that these things that you've been doing to yourself has not been making you feel good. It hasn't been making you feel victorious upon yourself, right? So you have to really, really look and address it like this tower moment, okay? Do you really want it to be over or not? And what makes you be so interested in that particular event? Do you have a bottle of emotions? Do you have things that you wish you want to say, but you haven't, or you haven't had the ability to do so? Or do you feel that you're unheard? You got to dig deep and find out why is it that you cannot connect? Why is it that you cannot trust? Where is that place coming from? Because here's the funny part. This is your re -end, So I don't really, you know, deal with this one. I deal with you. Okay. Even if you were to be moving on forward and not with this person, here 
is not healed and you could potentially potentially bring in this emotional baggage towards your next relationship and we don't want that right so ask yourself where is it coming from what is it that i need to talk about do i need any help what do i need to say to this person to make them understand me where is it coming from okay because even if you go to the happily ever after with this person what type of relationship would that be with you physically there but your heart isn't in it okay just for some food for thoughts so i think that is it from my reading for you virgo i hope that you find tons and tons of clarity you've been looking for and i look forward to seeing you guys next week for another weekly reading all right bye, -bye guys have a great day i love you